I am uh, John Robert McIntyre, Jr., Colonel, United States Air Force, retired. I was always steering toward the Navy, uh, Navy surface, uh, Navy, I think. Uh, until my, uh, early in my first class year, we started to have a, a series of talks by, uh, we had talked by the Chief of Naval Personnel and Commandant of the Marine Corps representative. Uh, and the Air Force sent an officer, I'm sure he was hand-picked, he was a two-star general. Very excellent guy, uh, as far as presentation, and, and a strong representative of the Air Force. And uh, probably, I don't want to disparage anyone, but the uh, after this Air Force general gave a, uh, an excellent presentation on the, his service, the uh, Commandant of the Marine Corps, in fact, no, it was the Superintendent of uh, uh, Superintendent of Naval Academy, who was there on the stage, uh, got up and, and thanked him for the presentation, but then kind of started sticking the barbs in a little bit. And uh, it sort of irritated me a little bit that he would do that. And then I kind of uh, looked around and I noticed that there was so much animosity between the Navy and the Air Force at that time. I guess it was all based on who was getting the money in the defense budget and all, but there was a lot of uh, uh, backstabbing. And yeah, it probably was happening in the Air Force side too, but I saw the Navy side and it just made me wonder what's the Air Force got that the Navy doesn't like or is jealous of or what. But uh, I had a good friend who was in the Air Force and uh, he talked to me and he, he uh, he said me some positive things about the Air Force. So when we when it came time to for service selection, I uh, I knew the Air Force was going to take 25 percent. So uh, if one of those billets was open to me when my choice came up, I decided I was going to take it, and I did. And it, it all worked out uh, exactly what I expected. Now we were all together in the Dahlgren Hall. We were the last class to throw our hats up in Dahlgren Hall, which is the armory at the Naval Academy. Now they do it in the stadium. But this was indoor uh, one in Dahlgren Hall, historic building. And we were all in the Navy white uniforms and uh, did the hat toss. And then we all had time to run back to our rooms, which we still occupied at that time change into our service uniform, those going to the Marines would put that on, the, the Air Force would put on our uniforms and uh, the Navy just had to change their shoulder boards from midshipman to uh, uh, ensign. So that was, their job was pretty easy, but uh, when we came back together again for all the picture taking and the ceremony, it was it was a real experience. I mean, it had, I had tried it on and all that, but to have it on for the first time, uh, I remember uh, you, you have a dollar. You usually have a dollar set aside. The first guy who salutes you, I had this silver dollar, and I remember the uh, fellow standing on the deck on, on watch, and uh, he saluted me. I put that silver dollar to him. So that was a memorable moment. <laughs>